Hello everyone, it's me Larson here with Crafting on a Budget and today I'm not doing a tutorial per se. I'm actually going to show you some of the things that I've picked up at Dollar Tree and I think for a dollar you cannot go wrong. So let's get started. Before I begin, guys, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Right next to it there's a little bell. If you click on that it will give you notifications whenever I go live or whenever I upload a video like I am right now. So. What are some of the things that I recently found at Dollar Tree? Well, let's show you. These are the watercolor sets from Dollar Tree. And it's a pack of five, Crafter Square. Not every Dollar Tree has the same items. Now, sometimes you can go online, but the problem with ordering online is that you have to buy by the case. That could be 12, 24, 36. Now, these are the little a uh, five pack of... Um, Tempera watercolors and it has white, blue, black, and red and yellow. And I found that for a dollar, not too bad at all. Doesn't have a lot of pigment, but what can you expect for a dollar? Now, if you're on a budget and you're trying to start out with some watercolors, you can, of course, mix your yellow and blue to make green, um, your red and uh, maybe the white, uh, make pink. Yellow and uh, red, yellow and red makes orange. So you can color, change some of these colors and the primary colors, and at least try to get um, some color combos there. Now the other thing, um, again, like I said, not too shabby for a buck. Um, I would not run back and replace the little tubes, um, just because when I I noticed that when I was wetting it down. The color pigment wasn't so rich and it didn't break down as good. So to me personally, if I was that tight on money and I really needed the color, then okay. I, I can see that, but not really a fan of. Now, what I am a fan of are these little spray bottles for a buck. Now, a dollar, you cannot go wrong. Now, I have several bottles. This is my Tim Holtz, which average is about 4 or $5. And of course, this is my... Chuck Couture one that um, I paid about six or seven dollars. I can't remember. Now for a buck, not bad. They have them rose gold, silver, green, blue. Check out your local Dollar Tree. You might be surprised what colors they have. But it's in the um, health and beauty aid section. And again, for a dollar, you cannot go wrong. You can use these for your mixed media canvases to water down, dilute down your watercolors. Um, Whatever it is that you're using for um, in your craft projects, for a dollar you can't go wrong. Now, I use a lot of these little brushes that you see me dusting off my desk. For a dollar, again, you can pick these up at Dollar Tree at the um, cosmetic section for a buck. I picked up that one. I picked up the Little Mermaid. They also had little paint brushes for mermaids, but the girls picked, uh, grabbed those from me. So again. These are really great little tools that you can use to brush off your work area. Now, blending brush. Now, you got all these little wonderful blending brush that you can buy for a lot of do a lot of money. Dollar dollars, yeah, a lot of dollars. But Dollar Tree has these for a dollar, and you can use them with your Tim Holtz, with your uh, you know any of your ink pads, and kind of blend in your projects. Mm -hmm. See? Great. Great little tool for a buck. Now, coming to this, I just noticed that they have these um, oil pastels, pack of 12, which is not bad. Actually, what you see here is from my oil pastel from Dollar Tree. They have it in white, yellow, orange, red, pink, burnt sienna, blue, which looks purple, but it's not. Um, light gray, dark green, light green, brown, black. Now, you know, for these, you can blend them several different ways. You can use a little stomp like this. Um, you can use baby oil you can pick up at Dollar Tree or mineral oil to kind of blend it in. Or you can use a paper towel, use your finger, and kind of blend in, which is what I did here. This is with a paper towel and blended it in. Now, to get a good blend, what I would do, um, I'm going to show you, it go dark to light. Meaning, if I wanted to, um, 
Let's go. Let's do my funky heart. You want to go dark, a dark color. Let's go blue. This blue really is not that dark, but. Oops. Fill it in, and you can use, I guess, um, like I said, paper towel. You can use a brush with a little bit of a solvent like baby oil, mineral oil, turpentine, any of that stuff, and just kind of blend it in. You'll need to let it dry up. Um, and you can also blend in with another color that it's a little bit lighter. Um, this one's not so light, but you can blend in on top to smooth it in with another color. Now I have the Artist Law from Michaels. I guess I should do a little comparison. Do it like that. But you want to go light, I mean dark to light. So you want to put the dark color down first and then go in with the light color. But let me get a piece of paper towel. And I'm just kind of blend it in. It takes a lot more muscle strength this way, I can tell you that much. But it's doable. It definitely is doable. So you can do it that way to blend in nicely. We'll do half of the heart that way. And then you want to blend in those outer edges. So that's with a paper towel. Now, if I was to take the stump with some mineral oil, let's do the other half. Now, keep in mind that I did not protect the back sheet, so this might seep a little oil in the back, but shouldn't damage um, go out, see. Now, you can let your um, blending, your little stump, dry overnight, come in with a sandpaper and just kind of sand it off. But make sure it dries up before you do that. And I'm doing this really fast, just because I don't, this is not a tutorial, I'm just showing you. And it's not bad for a dollar, you get 12 little pastels. Now, not every Dollar Tree, like I mentioned before, carry these items. So if you have a friend that has a, I know that um, a lot of the Dollar Trees are starting to get these new items in. My Dollar Trees, um, we have three. We just got a new one in. That's a lot better and a lot bigger, and it, that's where I found these. But... Uh, my other Dollar Tree really don't carry much um, as far as this crafters um, square products. But if you have one um, or a friend, just reach out to them, you know. Say, hey, you can do you mind going over there and pick one of these up? It's not bad for a dollar. Seriously, it's not. So as you can see, it becomes creamy. I can come in here, grab some of this. Look at that. You can do that. Mm. Go crazy. But it blended up really nicely. Now, pastels, as you guys know, it's kind of waxy, so it's, it's a crayon. Um, you could probably use this if you see my video of how to do rubs, metallic rubs. You can use this with your bee wax probably and a little bit of mineral oil. Make your own little rubs. All right. 
not a bad deal at all. Clean that off and then we'll let that dry overnight. And so that's that's a nice little you know way of doing it. The other way, of course, you can take if you don't want if you don't have a stump, just take your baby oil or your mineral oil, whatever you have, and then just kind of blend it in with your um, paper towel and get a nice smooth. See what I didn't get? I can get it now. I can blend it in nicely. That way, a nice smooth finish. And then you can come back and do some little finishing touches. I'm going to go ahead and dry that up. I love my little funky hearts. Do some doodling if you want. You can use your uni ball pens. I don't have any of those. Um, or I don't like the Faber Castell ones. Do not like those. Do not recommend them. They don't last. Now this is a cheap one I picked up at on the clearance at Hobby Lobby and it's been working great for me. Um, the pen, it works good. It's not, um, it's not as expensive as, you know, the others, but it's, it's doable, you know. And I actually got it at Clarence when... When Hobby Lobby went on clearance. So you can do a little doodling. Um, I'm not a doodler. As you can see, I don't do really well with doodling. Um, But it's doable, guys. It's so doable. Anyway. You guys get the hint. Right, right? Right, right? Right, right. Yeah. Um, you can definitely, definitely, you know, pick these up for a dollar. You cannot go, you cannot go wrong whatsoever. There's nothing in here that will say um, it's not that good. So, great. Great little find. Um, horrible doodling, but great little find. So, not bad for a dollar um, on that. Now, the other thing that I found is these. Now, you know... You got the Fiskar ones, um, but these were a dollar there, and I picked up a couple that they had, and they worked really, really good, and um, not too bad for a buck. Not bad at all. So, again, you can pick these up now. I don't know if it's been around for a while, and I just, you know, 
didn't I missed it here's um what I did with the watercolors I tested them out and I use a sponge from Dollar Tree and pack uh, pick these up in the health and beauty aid section but this is the watercolors um, and I used this here and kind of sponged it out and did some doodling you know there so that's the watercolors um these are my favorite guys these are the best things that you can find at Dollar Tree and I got hooked on these because Young Sue has sent me a pair and I have over probably 25 of these and whenever I see them I pick them up because they're great for detailing fussy cutting. I'm not a fussy cutter, don't like fussy cutting, but when I do have to these are the best. These are actually better than Tim Holtz. They're actually better than all these other brands like the We Are Memory and all the other brands that are out there. That's the Martha Stewart one. But there's so many brands out there that are so expensive. And this one here for a dollar does the job great. Now they have it in the hot pink, but they also just came out with the coral looking color. So that's a great, great deal. So um, the last thing I think I wanted to show you guys are these little tags. They have these chalkboard tags, six piece pack for a dollar not bad they're good quality it comes with the twine so again not a bad quality whatsoever so guys head on over to your dollar tree check out the brushes check out your sprayers um because hey you can even take your cricket if you're that um creative and you know cut something out in vinyl and put it on your little sprayers. Now we all know that I'm lazy and I don't like doing that kind of stuff even though I have the machine and I should do it but I don't and maybe I will but I probably won't. <laughs> but you can um, definitely decorate your little bottles you know and um, use them for your craft room. Now these, you can decorate these with some bling, make it pretty, doesn't have to look so ugly. I am not that kind of girl that has that kind of bougie craft room. You guys know I like simplicity the best, the, 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 the more simple the best it is for me because I'm not, I'm not bougie like that, you know, I'm just not. So pick these up at your local Dollar Tree and give them a try. Tell me what you think. The other thing that I always pick up at Dollar Tree is the um, cookie sheets because I use these um, I put my coffee dyed paper and bake with these um, I also use them uh, for like the soldering and stuff like that this is great so I pick these up when I'm there um, time for that I pick up my baskets all my baskets that I like to use for my storage that's all Dollar Tree goodies so head on over to your Dollar Tree, check out to see what they have, and let me know what you guys think, and what are your favorite Dollar Tree finds. I'm not a fanatic of um, a lot of the stuff from Dollar Tree, I will be honest. There are some things in there that I have to question sometimes as to um, whether or not it's worth it, because let's be honest, not everything there is meant to be purchased because the quality is not that great, but there's a lot of good things that you can pick up from your local Dollar Tree that are just a great find. And um, as a crafter, I know that they're expanding their craft section and hey, these are awesome deals, uh, absolutely awesome deals. So if you guys can head on over there and uh, pick up a couple of these, I'm telling you, it is an awesome, and scar, you're gonna hear a noise, awesome, awesome deal. So again, guys, um, oops. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.